Welcome to EPG Patsala. I am Amya Kumar Das, associated with Department of Sociology, Tejpur University. Today, in this session, we are going to discuss modernity, risk and reflexivity. Risk society and reflexive modernization discussed by Ulrich Back as a part of contemporary social theory course. Many of us, we know that sociology is largely seen as an outcome of modernism or modernist philosophy. It took a proper disciplinary shape in late 19th century and early 20th century. As you all know, forerunners of sociology discipline such as Karl Marx, Emil Durkheim, and Max Weber, they have been engaged or they were engaged in the, on the issues of this uh, change, social change, and how society changed from the pre-modern to a modern period. So, we have seen that how in their writings and analysis, they have tried to focus on one special issue, which is that as a modernist project, it was committed to the idea that it was possible to produce reliable knowledge about society that human beings could use to shape their future for the better. But the question arises here is that whether this kind of reliable knowledge has been useful for us. For us means the larger human society. As we know, sociologists like Anthony Giddens, Ulrich Beck and Zygmunt Bauman, they have widely and extensively discussed on the issues of modernization, reflexivity, risk, so on and so forth. Today, in this session, especially, we are going to focus on Ulrich Beck's idea on reflexive modernization and especially, particularly, on risk society. What does he think? What does, sorry, what does he think and how he relates to the whole idea of modernization to the risk society. Along with the advent of modernization process, society changed very fast, especially in the western part of the world. So, it had both advantages and disadvantages. The industrialization brought about many changes and development along with other forms of hazards and risks. Often, in common parlance, risk is defined as a potential exposure to a given danger or hazard in terms of health, wealth, and it is also sometimes regarded as anticipating uncertainty and it is mostly subjective in nature. In present time, risk has taken a prominent place in discourse of welfare for human beings. Mostly, it is used in the context of health and wealth. We human beings, we are concerned mostly about our health and wealth. If you look at various procedures, suppose in the health sector or even in the wealth, you, we have insurance. So, when we go for an insurance, we are ensuring the safety of our health and as well as our wealth from what? That is mostly from risk. If we look at generally in pre-modern societies, the risk was attributed to fate, luck, nature's fury and to some other type of supernatural powers on which we used to believe 
because we didn't have proper explanation to that. We would rely on various kind of unseen gods, goddesses, supernatural power because those risks and hazards were beyond our reach. To get some sort of some sort of comfort in life or some sort of confidence in life, we used to rely on these supernatural powers. But because of this enlightenment movement and philosophy, or we, we can say the advent of modernity in the West, people started applying reason and logic to their everyday life. It became important tool for analyzing the social processes. People tried to find out the causal relationship between all types of phenomena. Risks became a measure of scientific prediction rather than an explanation on the basis of supernatural powers. In recent time, if you look at risks can be anticipated from not only hazardous industries but also from a kind but also from a kind of lifestyle where we use too much of electronic devices from cooking instruments to use of mobile phones risk is also attached to the wellness and illness behavior after the prominence of aids and other types of fatal diseases health is also exposed to risks. So mainly when we talk about risk and risk society, the concept of risk society was mainly developed and conceptualized by the German sociologist Ulrich Beck. And as we have already mentioned, later it was expanded by Anthony Giddens and Nicholas Lehmann. Though Giddens' ideas on risk society have similarity with Beck's idea, Lohman differ from Beck's approach in his ideas. In common understanding, it denotes to the modern society's engagement and response to the element of risk. Giddens points out that mostly the risk is used in a negative connotation. The word refers to a world which we are both exploring and seeking to normalize and control. Essentially, risk, risk, essentially, risk always has a negative connotation. Since it refers to the chance of avoiding an unwanted outcome, we always try to, according to Giddens, we always try to avoid risk and we look at it from a negative angle. So here, Ulrich Beck is considered as the pioneer of the idea on risk society and has substantial contribution to the idea of modernization and risk society. He views modernization and risk society to be very closely related. He understands modernization as a process where changes took place due to rationalization and technological inventions. Confronting with the dangers of modernization, Beck suggested that the process of modernization and risk society, the risk society as a systemic way of dealing with hazards and insecurities induced and introduced by modernization itself. Risks as opposed to older dangers are consequences which relate to threatening force of modernization and to its globalization of doubt. They are politically reflexive. So here Ulrich Beck argues that the modern society is inherently related and attached to the dimension of risk. Ulrich Beck has extensively written on the idea of risk. One of his important and founding works on risk is risk society towards a new modernity. He has also written on reflexive modernization which was produced along with 
Anthony Giddens and Scott Lash. His many other works include ec Ecological Politics in the Age of Risk, Ecological Enlightenment, What is Globalization, World Risk Society, Individualization and so many other work which deals with the idea of modernization and risk society. Ulrich Beck also links the notion of risk to people's knowledge and awareness. This has gone into people's imagination and taken a prominent place in the popular discourse. The more society is entering towards the risk, the more conscious they are getting about risk. Essentially, Beck is concerned about risk which is a result of modernization. Beck argues that the risk is a kind of social construct which is presented through scientific argument and evidences. So, Beck has taken up to show this, to demonstrate this, he has mainly taken up two approaches. These are to define risk, these are one is natural scientific objectivism and the other one is cultural relativism. According to Beck, the both the approaches are having certain usefulness as well as some fallacy. The scientific method helps in predicting the nature of hazard and can measure it while it can ignore context of specific perception of risk. The cultural relativism approach can differ in the context of space and time. The space and time notion which is very important in sociological understanding of any social processes that occurs in our world. As we have discussed, reflexive modernization is one of the most important concepts in Ulrich Beck and Anthony Gerdin's works. To understand and counter risk hazard in the modern society, the idea of reflexive modernization was developed by these sociologists. Why? Because uncertainty creates more anxiety than the risk. So, it is useful and pertinent to analyze risk with reference to uncertainty. Of late, modern society which is grossly industrial society has realized that it is a risk society. It raises dilemma over the claim of supremacy of modernist power. The recent example of the nuclear catastrophe of Fukushima, Daiichi in Japan and Chernobyl in nuclear disaster in Ukraine are very much crucial to this aspect of reflexive modernization. In this context, they suggest that one should engage in reflexive modernization which according to Ulrich Beck highlights that the modernization and industrial society which gives blind eye to this kind of externalities, reflexive process forces the modern society to reflect on the risky situation and contemplate to counter it. What does he mean? He tries to suggest that without process without looking at the other aspects of this modernization process or growth or technological advancement, giving a blind eye to these externalities, we need to be more conscious, we need to be more contemplative in this regard and we should analyze things critically before accepting or jumping into any kind of consumerism. Ulrich Beck suggests that reflexive modernization initiates modern people into self-confrontation with the consequence of risk that cannot be easily fought or controlled or overcome the limitation of the modernization process in addressing or informing about the danger and risk creates the condition for human beings to bring into a condition of self-confrontation, which 
he terms as reflexive modernization. So, in the whole concept of reflexive modernization, the self-confrontation idea becomes very much important. He also warns us that the about the irresponsible side of rich society that emerges out of this modernization process. Ulrich Beck has also developed the idea of individualization along with reflexive modernization and risk society. He focuses on the idea that how individual become important in the whole process of modernization. Zygmunt Bauman's idea of liquid modernity become important here. Here Beck doesn't refer to alienation. Here individuals are desired to produce their own biography and life story unlike in the traditional sense where people had more fixed kind of rules. Individualization could be seen as an outcome of modernization process and Beck looks at it as a part of this globalizing force. Ulrich Beck and Anthony Giddens, they look at modern society from a different angle. They say day by day modern society is facing risk in terms of new kind of illness, crime, accidents which are offshoots of this modernization process. Beck points out that capitalist expansion and this consumerism practices are also responsible for creating condition of the risk. Rich people might avert risk through certain kind of precautions by buying good food and water, but it is difficult to avert the polluted air. Like recently, we have seen what in Delhi during this celebration of Diwali or the festival of Diwali, we all came to know about this fatal environmental condition where people were almost breathless and we have seen how elderly people and children have suffered. So these are all linked to the whole process of consumerism and this modernization process. He says, it is the knowledge and information which is more useful than wealth to avert risk. Giddens argues that the, though risk is associated with a certain kinds of social practices, it also can be avoided by discipline and changed economic and consumption behavior in the society. So to summarize or to conclude this module, we have seen that how both Anthony Giddens and Ulrich Beck, they have linked the modernization process with the risk society. Both of them are highly concerned about how the society is progressing towards high consumerism and they are creating a danger. In return, they are creating hazard for the society. For to counter that, they have discussed with the idea of reflexive modernization. They look at this process of reflexive modernization. It can be a counter to this high modernization process. Both of them, they agree that this risk society is a creation of modern human beings. With the immense control of capital through high technology and more production, what we have seen, we are proceeding towards the danger, various kind of ecological hazards. Continuously, we have seen starting from this Chernobyl, Japan and in India, the, uh, the most apt example can also be like the Vopal gas tragedy, so on and so forth. We have seen how we are always at risk. But at the same time, human beings, they are enjoying these offshoots of modern technology. Because of all these sorts of complex phenomena, we are in a very difficult position and difficult situation. 
also ulrich beck talks about a concept called individualization where he discusses that in pre modern societies or earlier times individual had limited choice but now with multiplicity of choices human beings can choose from various options they create their own biography they create their own story it is no more that society controls the human being but it is the individual who creates an individual's creation of the self this society is part of that so with this we have learned that how modernization is not that flowery kind of story or picture it always comes with some sorts of danger that we anticipate especially these are risk and hazard so human being also for their own benefit for their own selfish interest they also take or calculate the kind of risk or hazard they can take and accordingly they proceed the more they create defensive technology to avoid risk and hazard the they more confront with the new kind of threats risk disease and uncertainties which is created by the nature or through other avenues thank you for more for more information you can log in to the epg patsala website where you can have more e text references and further readings thank you